All right, everybody, so we're looking at the trombone today. Um, I have it in the case on the floor. Let's see if I can... There we go. So it's a really long, skinny case. There's not much to the trombone. There's two pieces in the case and then the mouthpiece. So this guy is big, but not heavy. So we have the bell side. Okay, that has a little screw piece where it attaches. So that goes under your arm when you're putting it together. So this piece is on the bottom. And then the slide, which is super, super fragile. Let's see, yeah, it's locked, that's good. So this top piece sticks out a little. It has the threads here, so that's where it's going to attach. And it makes an L shape. It's hard to see in this, this view here. Okay, so it's screwed nice and tight. And at the very end, do this without taking out my computer, there's a little black rubber piece. And so it sits really nicely on the ground like this. So let's turn this a little so you can see. You can see a lot of my desk. Okay, so. It's folded in a 90 degree angle here. And the way we hold it is a little, little funny. So this bar here, this beam, that's where your thumb goes over. And then the rest of your fingers wrap around this front part. Okay, and then the slide is locked. This is the slide lock here, so when I move that, the slide can move freely. I'm going to keep it on. It should be kept on at all times unless you're actually playing. And this hole is kept open and this is where your mouthpiece would go. I'm going to talk about the mouthpiece first though. Alright, so the mouthpiece, let me put this guy down. Mouthpiece is a brass mouthpiece so it has the cup. It's quite a bit larger than the trumpet and I have my trumpet here trumpet mouthpiece here so you can see the difference. <laughs> so trumpet mouthpiece uh, and trombone mouthpiece. Uh, <laughs> so you're still buzzing your lips uh, uh, and then again just like the trumpet you control all of the sound with just, just your lips. You can kind of see my, my smiling muscles, that's what I call them. My smiling muscles are moving. <laughs> they kind of puffed out a little bit. You won't see a proper trombone player ever puff out his treats like... Because, the, actually there's two reasons. One, you can actually damage your muscles by playing like that. And two, you don't have very much control. There's no control when you're not using your cheek muscles. Um, to keep that up, it takes a lot of practice. So, we have our trombone back here again. I'm going to turn tilt this down a little so we can see. So I have my thumb over this beam. The rest of my fingers go under this beam and my slide is unlocked so it's almost ready to play. The mouthpiece goes, it just kind of drops in. There's not like pressure and then give it a little twist and it's never going to be upside down so it's not going to fall out anyway. We bring it up to our face it sits on our left shoulder in a V shape. So it shouldn't be like this, kind of hitting your ear, and it shouldn't be like this, so you have to play with your neck crooked. So it sits in a V, and our two, three, I can count, three fingers like this go on the slide beam. So this kind of proves 
the longer an instrument is or the larger an instrument is, the lower it sounds because you can physically see the trombone getting bigger or making the air travel farther before it comes out of the bell. And as it gets longer, the sound goes down. So there are seven positions of the trombone slide. I'm going to unlock it again. One or first position is at your face, as far up as it can go. There we go. So that is your C, B flat. It's your B flat. Second position is halfway between first position and the bell. The bell rim here is what we use for reference. So this is second position. Third position is even with the bell. Fourth position would be the bell is even with your wrist. And then from there, the positions get a little trickier because there's no more bell to give you reference. So that part takes a lot of practice to learn. But every slide position is about a hand's width away from the last position. So your wrist is now at the last beam, beam point. I'm seeing a lot of slide grease up here. Um, you will know you've reached seventh position when you see that tiny little line in the slide, that means you're about to pop the slide cover off. You don't want to do that often because every time you try to get it back on, you can bend the slide. And the scary thing about the trombone is if the slide is bent, it's almost garbage. Um, it's very, very difficult to get it straight enough again so that it slides smoothly because as soon as there is a bent or a, a bend or a dent, it doesn't move smoothly at all and that means that it's really hard to play. Um, somebody beginning on the instrument might not be able to notice as well as a, prof a professional would notice. Um, and that's it other than everyone's favorite, the spit valve. Um, so this key is extra long so that you can blow and pop open the slide. And the saliva slash condensation will pop out. Usually, hopefully, in the garbage can or a spit bucket. Um, <laughs> yum. Everyone's favorite part. I think that's it for now. <laughs> Trombone is a lot of fun.